cuties, it's Brigid here, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I am back after quite a long break from, well, doing actual videos, but today I will be recording some more of these for y'all today. So, this first one that we are going to be taking a look at is the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette C8 E-Ray. 645 horsepower, 591 foot-pound of torque, and an overall weight of 3,890 pounds. You know, let's go to some place where there's... I know players around so that y'all can hear this thing. <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to hear it, but I will boost the audio so that y'all can hear this idling. I don't actually know uh, this thing has like an actual engine sound, so... <clears throat> so let's see how this thing sounds. Wait. Is that a Corvette V8? Or is that just a phony copy? I can't actually tell if that's real or not, but let's go. Oh my god! Hold on. Is this thing all wheel drive? This thing has a wide. Oh my god, it is all wheel drive. But uh, let's see what this wide body is. Oh my god. That looks so hot on this car. Oh my god. I can make most RGs uh, old Corvette C8. And I and I can even turn this thing into the new Z06. Oh my god, this is the most customizable Corvette that I've ever seen. Oh my god, I can't actually turn this thing into the Z06. Holy shit. But, you know what? Do I actually want to put this thing on? Eh, fuck it. Let's put it on. And now, to find out. Thirteen hundred and twenty-eight horsepower, one 
1,084 foot-pound of torque, and now an overall weight of 3,206 pounds. Oh my god. Okay, but in terms of the engine options, so we got the regular, we got the Gallardo V10, We, we had the Aventador V12, a, a Ferrari a F50 GT, a Ferrari La Ferrari V12, or whichever one that is, and the uh, NASCAR V8. And oh my god, this thing actually is all-wheel drive. But I wonder why this thing is called the E-Ray. Eight. Look at this mess of gears. I'll fix that. Okay, let's do this. And then this. <clears throat> Why is this thing all-wheel drive? Because most core, well, actually, every Corvette is all-wheel drive. So I don't understand why this thing is all-wheel drive. Because that's weird. Okay, let's fix these gears, because this is just a conglomerate mess of the gears. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you know, in terms of the eighth gear, it'll go right at what's that to do there? Now let's see how fast this thing is. Two hundred and twenty seven point six miles per hour. That's not bad. Okay, I apologize if all can hear sounds in the background. That's well well, it's early in the morning, so one of my roommates, of which I'm not going to mention anything else about them, but they're having a rather interesting morning, let's just say that. <laughs> anyway, the liveries. Oh my god. Look at these. Holy shit. I am not going to put Lightning McQueen on there, because that is too cliche. See what other liveries are. Bad Corvette. Kim Block. I'm not gonna put that on there. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Fine. This scene is now Lightning McQueen. Fine. I know y'all are probably gonna be screaming at me in the comments. Because this is what everyone else does, but you know what? I am tempted. I am so tempted. So you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. This doesn't actually look that bad. Well, well, I mean, it could be better, but yeah. Oh my god, the sound of this thing, holy shit.
Wow. <laughs> okay, so this guys is going to wrap it up for the build review of the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette C8 E-Ray. I was saving this car, which is one of the cover cars of of the brand new Forza Motorsport, which came out like last week or something like that. And uh, yeah, before I round up this video, I would like to give a very special shout out to these two people, which I forget their names, but but uh, I will be putting their names here on the screen so that y'all can uh, well know that um so this all happened like a, like nearly a week or so like that ago, and uh well they have been fans of the channel for a while. And they tried getting a hold of me on Xbox, but they couldn't. So, about like nearly two weeks ago, they finally did. And that was the very first time that I, as a YouTuber, have ever met fans that have now become my friends. So, they are very open-minded, they are very kind, and they have been fans of mine for a while. And they call me an inspiration, which is just flattering. So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do hope y'all have enjoyed this. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.